Hi, hello everyone. Uh, we're going to start in chapter 3. Chapter 3 is named Paragraph Formatting. In this chapter, we are going to learn about paragraphs in HTML, uh, what are the heading levels available, how uh, to modify text alignment, how to indent and sample text, uh, what is a horizontal rule, how we can use it, and how we can create a tool deep in HTML. In this chapter, we are having four examples. Uh, first example is how to write a paragraph. Now let us view this page source in order to understand how to write this code. Okay, now normally we start with HTML tag. As we said before, HTML marks a start of a text file with HTML code. Then this is read to provide information about the page. And this is a title named writing paragraphs. So as you see that this is a title appearing here. And uh, uh, in the task bar also, this is what appears even in the tooltip of Windows. Okay, then we close the head tag, then we start the body tag. Okay, now in order to start a new paragraph, then we use a tag named P. P for paragraph. Okay, so you start writing normally, this is the first paragraph, normal text. And whenever you need a new line, then you write PR for line break. Then this is the first line in the first paragraph, another line. This is the second line in the, in the first paragraph. Then you close the paragraph with slash P, normally like any HTML tag. And we do repeat this again to create a second paragraph. Now, what is the difference? Now, as you can see that this is the first paragraph. This is first line, second line in the first paragraph. When I just closed the uh, paragraph tag and opened the new one, then as you see that it seems like it created two lines. One line to come here and another line to create a space. So the main difference between a break and a paragraph is that a paragraph it, it, it simulates two lines. So there is a, a line break between the two different paragraphs. So as you can see that uh, this is how we create paragraphs. Of course, like if you if you want to separate your text in order to make it appear uh, more clear, then you can use a paragraph to create this separation. So this is our first uh, example in this chapter we created a paragraph using the p tag so let's go back to the code of course you write this in a notepad uh, file i can even make it more bigger in order to appear like this this is what you should write in order to get the same uh, result. So as you can see here, we learned a new tag. We learned about the P tag in order to create a new paragraph. And the result, this is what it appears as a result in your HTML page. So this is our first point, how to use paragraphs. Okay. Whenever you take a look at the output, well, every every character, every letter is appearing in exactly the same format. Like you don't have a small font, big font, or whatever. So we need to learn how to modify uh, the text count. Okay, this is the output of the example. Like as you can see that there is a big difference between uh, the text found here. Okay, now let's uh, view the source and let's put it in Notepad to make it appear better. Now I'm not going to repeat again regarding the explanation of HTML, head, title, then the bar. We're going to explain what's new moving forward. Now we have a tag named H1, heading 1. 
Okay, so I write normal text. This is H1. I need to see the difference. What is the difference between normal text and the uh, heading, different heading levels? We have six heading levels starting from H1 till H6, where H1 is the biggest and H6 is the smallest. So I repeat the same thing. Writing this is heading 2 using once H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Then I'm writing also a normal text in order to feel the difference. What is the difference between the heading level and the normal text? Now, let's take a look at the output. Now, as you can see, that the heading level is automatically made bold. It's a head. Uh, and the head is normally bold to attract attention. So this is H1, it's written in bold. And also it creates something like a paragraph. Uh, like, as you can see in the code, I just wrote H1. No paragraph, no break, nothing. But it creates uh, a difference like as if it's a paragraph. So this is normally done because, you know, in when you write a head, you don't write something after it. You start in a new line. So there is something like a difference. It creates automatically this space in order to um, make the heading appear more clearly. Same thing uh, is repeated again for the different heading levels starting from H1 to H6. So whenever you take a look that H1 is the highest. And you can see that uh, there is a difference between the heading one level and the normal text. And it is appearing clearly in that screen. Okay, now this is H1. Still it's a little big, bigger. And this is a normal text. H3 is a little bit smaller, of course, than H2. And this is a normal text. Okay, you can say that H4 is a normal uh, text from size point of view, but take care that still this is bold. Now H5 is smaller than the normal text and H6 is the least. It's also smaller than normal text. So you have these six, six built-in levels in order to create different sizes of font. So whenever you need a title that is bold, that has a space, uh, it looks like a paragraph, uh, so that any text after the heading uh, level will appear with a difference as a paragraph, then you can use any of these levels. Again, H1 is the largest heading style and H6 is the least. H4 is a normal uh, style. So, whenever you make something bigger, you can use H1, H2, H3. If you need to use a smaller size, then you can use H5 and H6. This is the example showing how you can create different heading levels in HTML. Now, next example, we're going to, take, to talk about text alignment. Like... Uh, as you can see in the previous examples, that everything appears left to right. Um, everything is left online. But we are going to learn in this example how to create different alignment in text. So let us see the source. Okay, we are going to go directly to the body tag. Okay, uh, here we learn a new tag, it's called div. So whenever you have a div, then it's a new tag where you can specify different alignment for your text. So it's div align equals left. Of course the default is left. So if you don't mention anything, default is left. Now, you have three values that you can make for alignment left right or center so now this text that is enclosed between the starting div tag and the closing div tag will appear in 
left. This will appear in right and this will appear in center. Now let's take uh, a look about the example. Okay, this is left, this is right, and this is center. So now we are able to define the different alignments uh, in HTML. Last example in this chapter, we are going to learn uh, about uh, tooltips, horizontal uh, rules, and indenting text. Okay. Now let's take a look for the source. Okay. Let's explain this. Now we have a tag called block. Code. Okay. Whenever you write this uh, tag, this means that the text will be indented a little bit. Okay. And if if the text is large than the space that a single line can occupy, then it automatically moves to a new line without writing a, a, a break. You don't have to write p tag or p br tag in order to create a new line. This is a new tag that we learn in this example. So we are writing down my text to make uh, uh, something like a paragraph. Okay. Then we have something called a horizontal rule. Horizontal rule with the tag HR. What does HR mean? Uh, HR means it's something like a spacer. If you see, I'm writing a line that appears as a spacing between two different paragraphs. So this is how it looks like. It has some attributes, like I can align it center, okay, then uh, size equals 10. Um, well, this attribute may appear deceiving. Size is actually its height, okay. What is the size of this horizontal row? Of course, it's in pixels. So, uh, like this is the size of 10 pixels. If you need to make it more, then of course you can increase. If you need it, if you need to make it less, then you make can make it less than 10. But this is the size of 10 pixels. Now, width equals 100 percent. Well, you have always two ways in order to uh, specify the width, either as a percentage of the screen size. So if I make it 100%, this means I want to appear it full screen. So it will occupy from the start till end. And also you can um, mention this as pixels. Okay, so in this case you don't write a percentage. You just write a number. Okay, so as we said, like for you to imagine the sizes, okay, size 10 is this amount. So, of course, whenever you are writing a pixel, it's right, you are writing a point. So, 10 points, this is its size. Uh, so, imagine like 100 pixels will appear almost something like here. This is for you to imagine the size required. Color equals blue. You can also mention its color. So, as you can see, that this is how it looks like. This is uh, the horizontal rule, which is a spacer. It's appearing in blue color. Now back again to the P tag, where we are going to write a paragraph. But here we are using an attribute named title, and we are writing just any text. Okay, what is this? Now whenever you hover on your paragraph, then whatever you are writing in the tool tip will appear here. Okay, so as you can see that nothing appears here. But whenever I hover with my mouse, it, this tool tip appears. So if you need to provide something like more help or any clarification, explanation, whatever you need, then you can add simply this uh, tag. So back again to the uh, code. So it's simply using title attribute. Almost title attribute is there 
for almost all HTML tags. So you can use it whenever you need to have a tooltip. So it will appear automatically whenever you hover your mouse over your text. Okay, so in this chapter, we had four examples. We learned about paragraphs using the P tag, and we learned what is the difference between uh, BR tag and the P tag. We have learned also six heading levels. Uh, uh, what's available in HTML is from H1 till H6. We learned about them all. We learned also a new tag called div with some attributes with um, center aligned, uh, left aligned, or right aligned. Uh, so we learned about the div tag here. In this example, we have learned about the block code uh, tag that is available in HTML. In horizontal row, we have learned about uh, the HR tag in order to create a spacer. And for tool tooltip, well, here we just learned a new attribute called title. It's not a new tag, it's a new title. So this is the end of chapter uh, 3. Hope you enjoyed this chapter. See you guys in next chapter. Thank you.